a year ago. Shot just 55%, but that was a lost year for Nene. Played in just 16 games. He had the thumb early, and then he developed the testicular cancer. And then when he returned from that, he had a groin injury, which kept him out the rest of the year. So, Nene, uh, it's a feel-good story for big fella from Brazil. He's got eight points. And the Nuggets lead by eight. Fisher. And Fisher drops it home. And Fisher complaining that he's being bumped by Iverson. Well, you're sliding under the pick and rolls. Fisher able to knock those little mid-range jump shots down. See if you continue to play it that way. Down the middle to Nene. we got a foul on Bynum. So the Nuggets beat, beating the Lakers to the punch. That's going to be four on Bynum. And that's just a hard cut. I mean, that's not a play. That's not a setup. That's Bynum standing behind Nene. And just a hard cut to the basket. Now a decision for Phil Jackson. And he sends in uh, Lamar Odom to the scorer's table. Oh, shit! The pass trying to lob to Kenyon Martin. Intercepted. Fisher casts off. And the Nuggets fighting for the rebound. Carmelo and Nene drop it out of bounds. Yes, it's better than no one going for the basketball as Oda so you, checks in. Yeah, but you don't want that very often. I mean, you got to know and you got to look around. And... Usually let the big guy take that. Gasol bouncing in and Oda with a layup. So that particular play cost the Nuggets two points. And that was a, a weird double team off the ball, which allowed Gasol to open, be open on the inbound. Really allowed Rodmanovic to be physical with Melo. Carmelo dump it to Kenyon, right under the basket, he dumps it. Carmelo really looking to be the facilitator tonight. 11 points for Kenyon and the fifth assist for Carmelo Anthony. Him and Melo not scoring tonight, but maybe looking at a career high in assist somewhere. Rodmanovic and a foul by Carmelo Anthony. Well, this could be two or three. They're saying he was behind the line. That's Carmelo's second. Carmelo didn't like the call. It's late. Oh, wow. That's a pinky foul. But Rodmanovic, an excellent free throw shooter. Three points for Rodmanovic, all from the free throw line. It's tough. Rodmanovic, 0 for 4. He's not shooting the ball particularly well himself. But a guy that's been an excellent free throw shooter his entire career, you're giving him easy opportunity. That went off the mark. Good job. Nene rebounds. 56-52, Denver. Once again, they go to Carmelo. Facilitate the offense. He's doubled. Trying to Lakers. run pick and roll with Nene. Lakers challenge Melo to continue to pass the basketball. Kenyon Martin with five on the clock. Wow! Right over the top goes Kmart. See, you can be against a seven-footer with the explosiveness in the legs of Kenyon Martin. When he gets in that paint right there, he's, that's pretty amazing. Now he got posted up way low by Lamar Odom. Well, Odom has four points. Odom, all-star talent. One of the top rebounders in the league a year ago. Carmelo got it. It just seems like there's a lot of contact. The impediment to the, to the basket. I think really stressed that a couple years ago. I guess tonight it's okay. Seeing it. Maybe you're talking the different respect level between a Kobe Bryant and a Carmelo Anthony, but Kobe gets the call, and deservedly so. That was a foul on Anthony Carter. His fourth. So four on Carter, and that's a concern now. And George Carl quickly summons J.R. Smith. 60 to 54, Nuggets by six. Kobe Bryant wants it in the post, can't get it there. Gasol challenged by the day, six on the clock. Gasol pressure, great defense by the day. Right up in his face. Say the good defense was Carter down on the block on Kobe Bryant. That too. That was a battle. Carter swing it over to Iverson. Iverson pulls the trigger. Bang! Three-pointer for Allen Iverson. And 11 points. Enjoy Iverson. 
Nuggets now by nine. That's the biggest lead. Now Kenyon out on Kobe Bryant. That's something we saw in the playoffs last year. And he drops it home. Quick out, let the car run. 13 think, for Kobe. I think what you just got to do is totally got to sell out, buy out, and, and double team him. Or perhaps square up. I don't know if you can give him that much leeway to the baseline. You got help coming, but with Kobe, it's tough. Carter outside to Carmelo. And Melo rims in and out. Rebound Gasol. 63-56. Carmelo now one of seven shooting. Rodmanovic for three. But Denver just kind of walked that back defensively. I mean, that was that was in George and Braxton. He was talking about good as transition defense has been. But that was just a jog back, and Rodmanovic able to go down a spot. Iverson hits the deck. Lakers get the rebound. 63-59, a four-point advantage. Odom, and Odom drops it home on the Nuggets. See it. Kenyon helping out down on the block with Kobe. Frees up Odom just stepping in the paint. That's a good timeout. Nuggets looked a little winded during that uh, stretch of minutes. Lakers. Are message from George Carl to his team said, guys, it looks like the last minute you got you just got a little tired there. You just got to get your energy back and to get right back into the sun, guys. Playing tough defense requires a lot of energy. So I think that was a terrific timeout by George Carl. Give the players a breather and get right back into it. Well, Denver comes out since halftime. They're four of six. You think, oh, okay, they're doing okay things offensively. Only one turnover, but the Lakers six of eight. One of those are three. And of course, the, the free throws on a foul on a three point. Nuggets trying to get the screen and roll. Can't out to Nene. See, the more physical team right now is LA. They're scrambling. J.R. Smith four on the clock. Tough shot. Got it. <laughs> Well, J.R. Smith nails the two-pointer. He's got eight points. And the lead for the Nuggets back up to four. Odom underneath the Kobe, and it's deflected by Carmelo off Kobe out of bounds. Nice defense. He got beat on the back cut by Kobe, but he didn't quit. Mm -hmm. Melo a year ago might have quit on the play and just allowed the layup. Did not quit, got a hand in there and forced Kobe here. Made Kobe kind of misjudge it and dropped out of bounds. Screen and roll. Carmelo shocked that he was wide open. He's had four shots at least. He ran all the way in and out. Carmelo one of eight now shooting. 65-61 Denver. Double team comes down the middle to Odom. And Odom with an air ball. J.R. Hustling got it. Late JR around the basket was there all night last night, that second half. JR Smith in the lane, shot was blocked. He got misstep, kind of got in the middle of the trees and tried to throw through the bird net. Fisher over to Kobe. Back to Fisher. Deflected. It's a two on three. Nuggets need a third man. Yeah, not enough bodies running on the fast break. Iverson with the reverse. A candidate for Alexis drive of the game. Iverson with his 13th point. Well, I guess you don't have to run on the break if Iverson can take people one on one baseline. Better if you had the runners with you, though. I agree. <laughs> so Kenyon Martin getting a uh, turn on Kobe Bryant. Rodmanovic. And the rebound to J.R. Smith. Nuggets by six, looking to add to their lead. J.R. Long three. About a half step in. Now that would have been a, a, a mini dagger. Wouldn't have been the full dagger. Too much time in the game. But maybe a half step in, he's in his range. Bill Jackson calls timeout. Just over five and a half minutes remaining in the third. And Carmelo up front. Nuggets looking for Carmelo to get going. Looks rusty. Shots going in and out. But he's got five assists, and the Nuggets have the lead. He's playing good defense. Well, you got to like that. Kobe Bryant, now Nene out there. Ooh, that's almost a double dribble. Stay in front of it. Six on the clock. 
See, and if that goes in, it just goes in. It's a good defense by Nene. Doing what you said, Chris, just staying in front of him. And, and a guy as quick as Kobe fills out a big guy taking a jump shot. Kobe shooting 5 of 12 tonight. He's got 13 points. Lakers stepping up their defense. J.R. Smith. That was another difficult shot for J.R. Kobe just a little bit. Kenyon Martin had all ball for a moment or two. That'll be two on Kmart. The C open for AI. Well, the block was clean. The hand is clean here. But then when he wrapped, maybe see the wrap around by Martin Lake. Derek Fisher, one of the best in the NBA. 88.5% a year ago. That was eighth best in the league. He hasn't missed one this season until right there. You've gotten you've gotten him and Melo tonight. I didn't get Melo. No, Melo got you himself, know, but I did get Derek Fisher right there. Right here, you got him. A one of two for Fish, and it's a five-point advantage. Really kind of a heavyweight match. I expected the Lakers to be a lot more up and down being the team that's rested. And I think they've allowed Denver to so let's see whose defense in the half court is better. How Denver to kind of catch its breath coming off that long trip from Los Angeles last night. Carmelo into the corner to Kenyon. Kenyon for three. Oh, he does it again. He had the dagger last night. Now Kobe going up. And the basket. You're going to foul Kobe in the lane. You better foul him hard. He's got the athletic ability to get the job done. And a three-point opportunity. Now, that's the Lakers that you expect. Okay, give up a shot down at the other end. Why wait on it? Just come back and run at you. I like Kobe might have gotten away with one extra half step in there. But he's got such body control, and he's so strong. I remember talking to Chauncey Billups a year or so ago who played with him in the qualifying tournament. He said the one guy that impressed him the most in that USA team was Colby. He said not only did he work out with the team, he worked out an hour on his own with weights before and another hour on his game after. Colby's got 16. Wide open is Anderson. Coming underneath, reverse. No. Rebound Rodmanovich. So Anderson comes in for Nene. J.R. Smith on Kobe now picked up by Kenyon. Out to Rod Monovich, loose, high arc, three-pointer, got it. Didn't let him get spotted. Denver defensively pretty good for most of this game, but the last couple possessions just really kind of standing flat-footed. Ten points for Rod Monovich. Got to get back to solid shots, good shots towards the basket, and in front of people on this end. Carmelo. He's just going to keep trying and trying. One for nine now for Carmelo shooting. And Radimanovic has just got a hand on him every time he moves. And Kobe Bryant going to work. Dumping in to Gasol. Out to Fisher. Loose for a three. And the Nuggets wrestling for it. J.R. Kratos. J.R. ten rebounds last night. He had a double-double. He's got five tonight. Nuggets got to get back to the, the screen and roll where the roll goes to the basket. Kenyon Mark Travel. They're not, even, they're not pick and roll. They, have, they haven't had it for a while. You heard a report by Julie in the, in the timeout or in the first half. Maybe it was AD talking to us. So we've got to get back to pick and roll and getting the guy rolling hard in the basket. To the tip of the rim, I believe, Adrian Dantley said. You've got to get bodies down there, though, with the guards. Carmelo Anthony gets a freezer, replaced by Linus Clayson. Or Clayson Rodmanovich now. 70-68. Lakers have cut the Nuggets lead to two. Kobe is tied up at 70. Kobe now with 18. And, and he does it for a little teaching for all the kids out there. Look at the shoulder and head fakes that he used. I mean, if you can get down to where you've got a good shoulder fake, ball fake, head fake. Nice wow. pass. So that breaks a run of eight straight points, and Kenyon comes down limping. May have just landed awkwardly. Let's hope that's it. Grabbing that left hamster. 72-70. Two and a half minutes to go. Third period. Everything through Kobe now. 
That shot's off the mark. Iverson's got a chance for the fast break. Iverson. And Gasol with the block. Phil Jackson up, but that was an easy play to call. Gasol moving all the way. And Kenyon Martin again grabbing the back of his leg. And George Carl going to inquire. Going to have to take Kenyon out, I think. Juwan Howard comes in. Well, here's the injury. Just a quick little off the pick. Jump it down. He just jumped. He landed hard on one leg. Let's hope it's nothing serious. So Jawan Howard in. Ball tipped away. Gasol's got it. On the ground before the shot. Nuggets are out of foul, so free throws coming for Gasol. Jim Gillen, the Nuggets head trainer, Steve Hess there, the strength coach. And paying attention to Kenyon Martin. Gasol, no. Gasol's had a pretty good game. 13 points, 11 rebounds. He shot 6 of 13. One of three from the free throw line. Now, Trevor Ariza will return, and he'll replace Radmanovic. Not quite the three-point shooter, but much more athletic. Radmanovic has never been known as a great defensive player. I mean, you bring him in because he can shoot threes. But, but defensively, he has kept the body on just being physical on Carmelo. And I think it's bothering the effect of Carmelo in this game. He's a lot better than he was. Better than he was in Seattle. Better than he was at the Clippers. So he, he, he can still ball. shoot. Iverson dump it off. Anderson. Got it. Terrific look by Iverson. A chance to be on Lexus drive of the game. Fifth point for the Birdman. Now plays against a try on Kobe Bryant. It's all hands on deck on Kobe Knight. Down the middle to Ariza. Close for layup. Loose football. JR dives for it. And timeout called. We got Rocky behind us, Scotty. All right. Call it 20 seconds. Gasol lost the ball through his legs. I'm not sure. Oh, it feels good, Rocky. He ever had possession of the basketball. Michael Smith on the baseline. I hope it's female Rocky Call. tonight. Our next telecast uh, Wednesday night against the Golden State Warriors. Start time 8 p.m. Warriors, a talented team in a state of flux. Without Baron Davis, they do have Corey Maggette, Steven Jackson, and crew. Look at Rocky. This is what we got to deal with. Look at this. Look at this. This is this is not good. Hey, Rock, come back. Yeah, Scott had a hold of your tail. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, Rocky. Nobody beats the king. Nobody. There you go. <laughs> 74-71. Come out to a Nuggets game at the Pepsi Center. Loads of entertainment. Headed up by Rocky, the best mascot. Hey, by the way, congratulations on your induction to the Hall of Fame. Congratulations. Let me give you a high five on that. That was well done. Did you know Rocky in the Rocky, Hall of Fame? Yeah, the mascot's Hall of Fame. Sweet. Yeah. Well done. 74-71. Nuggets uh, double team. That is oh! by there. Boy, you just cannot. If you're double, you cannot let him... Break out of that double or you're dead. Oh, well, you got to double with your feet, though, and, and, and movement of your feet. And what big guys will like to do in a double team, they want to lean. And what Chris did is he got in there, leaned a little bit with that chest. And once a, a player like Kobe feels your weight on him, he's able to get around you. So Kobe Bryant, who had 11 at the half, has scored seven here in the third quarter. Four or five now at the free throw line. So we get the Coors Light guys night out. Bring a buddy to see the Nuggets host the Mavericks. That's going to be Friday, the November 7th, 8.30 game. Two tickets, two Coors Light, two T-shirts as well for just $49. Nuggets.com. Or you can call 1-800-4-NBA-TICKS. Minute 30 to play. Third quarter. Nuggets on top, 74-72. Jordan Farmar has come in for Derek Fisher. Nuggets have to start their offense really high out. Iverson, cross court, plays at six on the clock. Plays it going up. In the lane, little runner. Got it! L train! L train coming through. And a 
four-point lead. Nice move by Clayson. Maybe that'll get him going. Kobe fires. No. And an offensive rebound flies out to Jordan Farmar. Behind his back, this all. And Clayson didn't block out on the other end, and then that time didn't rotate in front. Little things will let you beat the Lakers. Iverson with the turnover, intercepted by Ariza. 42 seconds to play. Now Iverson on Kobe, down the lane. Gasol. And Gasol fouled. For a report on Kenyon Martin, let's go over to Julie. Well, the official word is Kenyon has a left hamstring strain. His return is uncertain. I can tell you he just left through the channel with strength and conditioning coach Steve Pepps. Guys, back over to you. They'll go back there and try to stretch it out and do what they can to get that thing loose. Yeah, that hurts. Well, Odom with his first free throw tonight, and it's good. Now Sasha Bujicic will give Kofi Bryant a rest. You know, Kobe with eight points in the quarter, 19 in the game. Watch the number of times the rest of the way in when you see a double team by Denver defensively anywhere on the ball, on the block, on the wing. Watch how many purple shirts try to dive the length. They've been pretty successful over the last two minutes. Tied the ball game up, I think, because of 76 all. Double. Put up. And I believe a palming call by Joey Crawford. Yeah, put it up in his hand and stopped him. Yeah. And then just brought it back down. So they called the carry. Could have called the double. Good call there. So 28 seconds remaining. Denver has not so far finished this quarter well. Screen and roll. Iverson goes down. Who you chinch? 14 seconds. Plays the travel. See, it's just two really unforced turnovers. The pass by AI, not under pressure, and then the travel by Klaza, and making his mind up where he wants to go. The reason kind of jumped the outlet. Just under 13 seconds. Lakers will work for one. Pick and roll coming with Gasol. J.R. Smith, shoot it, J.R. Three-pointer. That's the end of the period. So the Nuggets, who led by six points at the half, are tied up at the end of three. 76 all. You're watching Altitude Sports and Entertainment, your home for Nuggets basketball all season long. outscoring the Nuggets in the third by six. Nuggets uh, still playing pretty good defense, but they need to get their offense cranked up as Odom comes underneath. I think a team that wins the in-the-paint battle mm -hmm. is going to win this quarter. You know, watch, there'll be ten threes to ten uh, nine threes. See if the Nuggets can get going to the basket again. Try to get pick and roll. Lakers pretty good at avoiding that. J.R. Smith comes off the screen. And looking for Howard, a turnover. Well, one of the two guys is a double screen down, coming off a roll to shoot a ball by Smith, and then both bigs just stayed there. Our stats for three quarters brought to you by Lexus. Three-point field goal shooting has not been a big factor tonight. Farmar, no. And the Nuggets' Chris Anderson secures the rebound. Nuggets 1-1 one one this season. The Lakers undefeated at 2-0. and oh. Iverson over Farmer. In and out. Rebound Bynum, who's back in there now. Bynum sat out a long time with four fouls. It's amazing to see the number of shots have just gone in and out for Denver, and yet they're shooting 49%. Ariza. And a foul. Well, Trevor Ariza. We'll head to the free throw line and shoot two. Juwan Howard picks up his third foul. Of course, the Lakers 57 wins a year ago, just 25 losses. Really one of the surprise teams in the NBA, how well they played. Western Conference champs they knocked off the, Laker, uh, the Nuggets in the first round, of course, and then got by the Jazz. And 
really had clear sailing until they got to the Boston Celtics. Well, they, they were Jackson team, denied. They were a team that got better as the season went. They, they did. They, the last third of the season, I mean, they, they were just okay. First part of the season, in the last third, they were just really dominant. Lakers with their first lead since uh, 54 seconds remaining of the second quarter. Really, I guess you got to count that trade for Gasol is when that started. Iverson bouncing low. And it'll be Nuggets basketball. But now Anthony Carter is going to return, and so is Carmelo Anthony. The Nuggets need the Carmelo Anthony of yesteryear, the 25 and a half points per game guy. Carmelo tonight just two points on one of nine shooting. Iverson goes out. Carter's had the hot hand. J.R. Smith, long range. Yes! A three ball for J.R. is 11th point. J.R. hits 10 threes. The Nuggets hits 10 threes. And score. I think they'll win this one, too. Nuggets need someone hot, though. you got to find somebody that yeah, actually gets a hot hand. Bynum. And Bynum five. Well, I think J.R. might have had the block there, if not for the contact with Anderson. So Anderson picks up his fifth foul, and that sends Bynum to the free throw line. Here's another thing I think you'll need to watch with, with Bynum, who's still a young guy developing. You know, the first time through this league or through these teams, I think he should be all right. Will they figure out his moves and what he likes to do in the second half? You can buy a new Lexus RX 350 with rates as low as 0.9%. Cooney Lexus on Broadway. Lexus of Colorado Springs. Great values, great cars. Visit our friends at Lexus, uh, Cooney Lexus and Lexus of Colorado Springs. Well, Bynum gets two. They only give JR a two-pointer on that one. 79 all. Carmelo against Odo. And another one rolls off for Carmelo. Wants it back. He's quicker than Odo. He can beat him. Now to JR. Buicic got the elbow in all the way. Well, that's a foul at about the, the top of the key. I mean, he has been written from the time he starts his drive. You can't stick the elbow in. That's one thing we've been told by the officials, and he's got it in there most of the way, right there. Fifth foul on Bynum, so this might work out. J.R. Smith to the free throw line. J.R. 72% a year ago. Two for two tonight. With J.R. Stroke, he should be 80% or higher, don't you think, this season? Chance, absolutely. Nene will return and replace Chris Anderson. We're talking about his minutes are going to rise. Played what, right? Average about 19, just under 20 last year. Could be up closer to 30 this year. Anderson, five points, seven rebounds, and three blocks tonight. So solid effort once again from the Birdman off the bench. 81-79 Nuggets. He took an elbow right mm -hmm. below the left chest, I believe. Vujicic. Boy, the Nuggets have a lot of two-man guys going for that rebound. Close that in the lane. And a blocking foul called on Farmar. So the Nuggets able to get out in transition. And free throws coming. Well, um, free throws by JR a while ago. Penetrating, get to the basket. Free throws now coming for Klaza. Penetrating, getting into the lane to the basket. Third foul on Rodmanovich. And free throw, no good. Of course, Clays has stepped up with two big ones last night. Nuggets trailing 94-92. 12 seconds to go. Glazer makes a couple. Don't forget the George Carl Show every Thursday, 5 and 10.30, right here on Altitude Sports and Entertainment. 82-79. And another foul. See, Denver had 38 points in the paint after three quarters. JR's two free throws, the free throw there by Clayton. They still have 38. Now, to me, if you get fouled going to the basket, that should be part of your points in the paint. Mm -hmm. the same thing for the, Clinton, the Lakers, who had 32 coming in or after three quarters. Lakers have done a pretty good job adjusting their defense and trying to take away the inside against the Nuggets. Pick and roll really hasn't been there. 
So that's Lakers defense, partially. Well, now you got 31. And the name has been the guy yeah. that's been big. He's the roller of the pick and roll. Games, absolutely. <laughs> well, he's got a couple layups tonight because of that. Nuggets by one with 9.15 to play. And it's just three rebounds. I'd like to see that number up close to him. I think oh. Carmelo Anthony with the left hand. No. Into the corner, Ariza for three. And the Lakers take a two-point lead. Well, he got the ball out quick after the missed layup by Melo. And just ran it out, penetration, everybody sucked in. Open three. Glazer will shoot a three. It's off the front. Here comes Farmar. William Chich. Throws it into the back court. And it should be back court. Court. The Lakers turn it over. It'll be Nuggets basketball when we come back. We've had 10 ties and 19 lead changes. Eight and a half minutes to go. Lakers leading 84-82. Denver will have to deal with it just to get better at. Wouldn't be this close if Denver was doing a better job on the glass. I mean, they've been outscored 19-4 to in second chance points. Nene in the lane. See, that's, a, that's body all the way across the lane. Posting up is Bynum against Carmelo. It'll be Lakers basketball. Well, you've been to the meetings when they say if you're going to the basket, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Face up, are you allowed to touch? Pretty close. Maybe if he goes up straight, doesn't dips you do on that one. Ten on the shot clock into Odom. Odom's double pops it out. Oh, that's trapped. Farmar into oh! Odom. And a foul. Dene picks up his second foul. And free throws coming. At the line, shooting number seven, Lamar. Oh, Odom tonight at the land. Uh, tonight at the line, two for two. And Kenyon Martin, looking like he may come back in. Denver working hard, and the fruits of labor not paying off on the offense again. They got to get a couple of easy baskets, like you said. Someone's got to catch fire for yep. them. The Lakers move it, move it, pass it, pass it, and are earning stripes right now on the free throw line. Haven't been any fast breaks, so the transition game is dried up. We'll have to work it in the half court. Already eight free throw attempts in this quarter for the Lakers. Nuggets have made just one of six shooting. That was JR's three-pointer. And Lakers on a seven to nothing run. So you can't pass it to the post, the top of the key. That is the hardest play in basketball to do. You gotta dribble it over, get the angle to drop it inside. Nuggets out of sync offensively at the moment. Kobe double team. Turns the corner, come underneath. Good hit. Carter, right by Odom. Carter coming in. And Anthony Carter with an aggressive offensive play will shoot two. Yeah, and that's a smart move. I mean, Lakers are getting down to the free throw line on the other end. They've shot eight free throws already. Denver, when they've scored, that's what they've been doing. J.R. Wallago, Clays that got in there, now Carter. I get struggling. You, you talked about this last night when Denver started coming back in that game with the Clippers, started getting to the free throw line. Nuggets at the line tonight. 20 of 27. At 74%. The Lakers 26 of 35. 74%. Carter looking for his 18th point. He's got it. They see. Second chance point. Hurt the Nuggets tonight. 19 4, you're down 15 there, you're down 6 points in free throws, and yet here you are in a 2 point game. You're doing something right. Nuggets need a stop here. Nene with a steal! JR comes up with it. Nice play by Nene. Pass ahead. Look at Carter. Got it! A little defense, turns over into a fast break, and Bill Jackson will not play with it. He understands the balance of this game. Quick timeout for Phil Jackson and the Lakers. Starts at the defensive end for the Denver Nuggets. Nene getting in the middle of it with the steal. 
JR is going to come up with it, and then it's off to the races. Going to step aside for a moment. Just over seven minutes to play. Nuggets and Lakers tied at 86. Gets his fingertips on a third one. Oh! Pretty good job by the Berman in limited minutes. Nobody beats the King, Chris Anderson. Nobody. I like that one. Uh, Check in with Jules. All right, George Carl saying, you guys, the faster you play, the easier it is. The slower you play, it's going to get harder for you. Every time you can push it, push the ball up the court, guys. Get the defensive stop. I like that. And then get it out and run. Julie, five fast break points for the Nuggets in this quarter. Kobe Bryant picked up by Kenyon Martin. 86 all. Kobe shoots over Kenyon. Got it. Three-pointer for Kobe. See, that's ego, but that's talent. I mean, that, he just wanted to pull up on Kenyon. But to be able to just do that is just amazing to me. He's got, if he's a baseball player, you'd say he's a five-tool player. Let's see if the Nuggets can answer. Carmelo draws the double team. Now JR steps back, three-pointer. So just the difference in the three-pointer by Kobe and the forced three-point attempt by JR. Kobe just smooth, smooth, rises up, balance. Eight on the shot clock. Careful. Kobe pull up again. Yes. Well, Kobe Bryant taking charge down the stretch. 24 points for Kobe. Somebody in a white jersey has got to match what Kobe's doing for the Lakers. Turnover. And the Lakers with a five-point lead and the basketball. Kobe. That one's short. Chance for the break. The glass, no. Nuggets of Brian Cole and Lakers. Denver standing. I mean, there's no other way to say it offensively. That there's no motion, whether the, like I said, the travel fatigue or what it is. But but Denver on the offensive side standing. And now for the last five and a half minutes, the Lakers will be shooting bonus on every foul. And the Lakers, a very good free throw shooting team. Well, defensively, and I know Kobe's kind of smoked in the last couple times. The defense has been okay, but offensively, too much standing. Let's answer our GMC trivia question for the night. It's a long time ago. Allen Iverson finishing the top ten, assistant scoring the last four seasons. Who's the only other player to accomplish the feat, Scott? You're saying Oscar, I'm saying Magic. How about that? How about that? My favorite player growing up. Yeah. Hondo. Second free throw rolls off. Now the Nuggets have to execute. 92-86. Five and a half minutes to go. Iverson back in. Let's go! Kenyon. So Denver's got five spotters out on the perimeter. Waiting for someone to kind of go one-on-one. -on -one. Not a lot of movement, motion. And Carmelo picks up the foul. See what that puts, I mean, an 80% free throw yeah, shooter on the free throw line. Now Lennis Clayson will come in. Nuggets looking for a little offense. Nuggets led 82-79 since then L.A. on a 13-4 run. Kenyon Martin once again heading to the locker room. Try to get a report for you. Well, he's missed a little bit of time because of that hamstring in this game. He pulled himself out. 18.5 rebounds for uh, Martin tonight. Excuse me. Kobe Bryant with 25 now. On 9 of 20 shooting. Made 6 of 8 free throws. 93-86, the Lakers, 450 to play. Once again, Lakers showing that zone look. 
Carmelo steps back. Yeah. A long two-pointer for Carmelo Anthony. Still plenty of time. Four and a half minutes. It's down five, but it comes down to here. Stops and then gets it on the offense. Kobe Bryant missed that one. Nene rebounds. Chance for the break. Get it out of there. Plays it wide open in the corner. Carmelo fires again. Yes! Three-pointer for Carmelo Anthony. Coming alive late. Well, he said a while ago, you need somebody who's going to match Kobe. Melo quiet all night. Now it's it two in a row. And the Nuggets get a stop on the defensive end. Rebound plays it. Lakers back quickly. Still in that quasi zone. Carmelo trying again. Air ball. And they forced that one just a little bit. His first, his last two baskets happened. And someone else kind of penetrated, took a little pressure off, gave him some space. Lakers in the triangle trying to set up Bryant in the post. Odom casts off. Bad shot. Rebounded by Bryant. 93-91. Got a double in here quick. And Kobe lays it in. He didn't block out. So a four-point Lakers lead. And approaching the three-minute mark. Carmelo looking for a cutter. Out to Iverson. In the corner. And Iverson will shoot two. Kobe raises his hand. Let's see if it's on Bryant. Timeout call. Well, the Lexus drive of the game when we return. Nuggets down by four. Someone will come up and hit a big shot. Nuggets with plenty of time to mount a comeback. Iverson to the line. He can cut the lead to two. AI tonight, six of six from the strike. 13 points. Iverson, three of eight tonight, six assists, six of seven from the free throw line, 13 points. And he missed the ball. You have to wonder about the effects of the back to back. Look, it's getting in very late last night. Well, this very game. thrilling come from behind win. Game three. I know, I know. Still a tough chore. 95 91. Nice. Got to have a stop this time down. Five on the clock. Fisher casts off. Yeah. A three-pointer for Derek Fisher. And the Lakers executing in their half-court offense. Have built up a seven-point lead. 11 for Fisher. They had a chance to get it to two. Missed a couple free throws. And Fisher with the big three. Into the corner. Clay's up. In and out. Nene. No. Kobe's got it. Got more than one person get to the offensive glass. Denver just hammered tonight. Offensive rebound, second chance opportunity. Two minutes remaining. Rebound totals, Lakers 51, Nuggets 37. Kobe up and under. Ah! See, that's, that's the best player in the league, getting to the basket, and no one slides over to help Anthony Clark. 29 for Kobe in timeout. So the Lakers attempting to pull away late. Lakers have their biggest lead of nine, 191. We're going to step aside for a moment. We're coming right back. 147 to go. Can the Nuggets rally? Stay tuned. We'll find out. Tonight's Subway sub of the game. Scott Hastings, Birdman with the trifecta. I think we got to give it to, to Bird. He came in and energy-wise on a back-to-back -back night, I thought really brought it. Five points, seven rebounds at three blocks in that first half, I thought was really a key energizer for the Denver Nuggets. Yeah, that Subway sub looks good right now, Scotty, doesn't it? Had one for lunch. That big pastrami. Remember that thing? I had a turkey bacon. Holy sauce. Don't torture me. 191. Nuggets looking for offense here. Out to Carmelo. Swing it to Klaza. Klaza for three. Just Denver early in the season shooting the basketball. Really, the guys you needed. AI, three of eight. Anthony, three of 13. Klaza. 
Two of five, Smith, four of 13. The guys you need to knock shots down just did not knock shots down tonight. Toby, 10 points in the quarter. Second chance points, 21 to four tonight. Four shot, Mello's got it. Nuggets down by nine. Nuggets have shot just six of 19 from beyond the arc, 32%. Not horrible, but not great either. Well, L.A. got physical at Denver, and I think it bothered their perimeter shooters. Carmelo, three-pointer, good. Well, Carmelo is finding his stroke late, and Carmelo with 10 points keeps the streak going. Yep, that'll be 208 consecutive games with 10 or more points. Boy, he had to struggle to get it, though, didn't he? Yeah, I mean, that three right there gives him 10. It's quite a streak. Uh, the second best player in the league with a streak behind Carmelo. Carmelo 208 in a row with 10 or more. LeBron James at 117. Now Kobe Bryant, the reigning MVP, sitting on 29 looking for 30. Hasn't really forced it tonight either, Scott. Early on, let the game come to him, trying to set up his teammates. He hasn't really the whole season. He hasn't had to. Two blowouts the, the previous two games against Portland and, and the Clippers only came into the night average in 19 and a half. But when the game was on the line and basically a yeah. tied game, Kobe Bryant took over. And that's that's the beauty of, of what Kobe Bryant brings. I mean, that's we were lost with it's a quiet 30 points. And when, when you're talking 30 points in this league, you're talking about a whole lot of points. And when you say that was a quiet 30, then, then Kobe did something special in tonight's game. Under a minute. The Lakers defense has just not allowed the Nuggets to get inside. It's been all from the perimeter. As Carmelo Anthony knocks another one down. So another three-pointer for Carmelo. He's got 13. There's still five. You want to get up D. It's game not over if you get a stop. Foul anybody but Kobe. I wouldn't foul now. You're down to 14 on the shot clock. Let's see what we have here. Foul on J.R. Smith on the way to the basket. Did you slide with your feet? Just reach with your hands. Kobe, did, you know the ball's in his going to be him. J.R. just kind of reaching. Not a lot of contact, but that's Kobe Bryant. Well, Kobe back to the line. Lakers 30 of 41 tonight as you look at the numbers for Kobe. Don't forget, coming up right after the game, the Rick and Bob locker room report. What? A breakdown of this game. The Nuggets uh, were tied at 86, Scott, with 7.08 to play. But then the Lakers down the stretch is too tough. They look down seven thirty seconds ago. Who knows what might be happening, but how important was that comeback last night? All right, for now, a look at what's coming out after the game. The Rick and Bob Locker Room Report. Let's check in with Blake Olson. Blake? All right, thank you very much, Chris. A busy night in the NBA, as you just mentioned. Uh, the Golden State Warriors taking on the Nets. We'll have highlights of that game as the Nuggets get ready to take on the Warriors next week in Game 4. Also, the Cavs and the Hornets. Very interesting game, along with the Mavericks and the T-Wolves. That's all coming up. Plus, we'll hear from Bill Hanslick, the analysis of this game, the home opener at Pepsi Center. Back to you, Chris and Scott. All right, thanks, Blake. Nuggets had a 52-46 lead at the half, tied at the end of the third quarter. The Lakers able to execute just a little bit better here in the fourth quarter. They're led by the MVP. Lakers free throwing in the fourth quarter, 13 of 16, 81%. So now Denver down by seven. Hand off looking for J.R. Smith. Out to Klaza for three. And Gasol rebounds. At the other end, and Lamar Odom give it to Gasol. And the Lakers will run out the clock. A big effort by the Denver Nuggets comes up short. The Lakers going to get out of town with a 104-97 win. Lakers improved their record to 3-0, and and the Nuggets dropped to 1-2. and Scotty, the effort was there, the execution, maybe not. 
Well, they, I mean, it, it's a tie game with eight minutes to go in the fourth quarter. So you, you played and gave yourself an opportunity to win. But